a new video. I'm super excited to film today. Um, <clears throat> I have some good news and bad news. Let's start there. Good news is I'm trying to film more, okay? Bad news is my SD card, <clears throat> which had 128 gigs on it. <sighs> I was like in the middle of filming last week and it completely just got like corrupted and I cannot figure out for the life of me how to uncorrupt it without downloading any software and I just prefer not to download softwares and stuff like that. I get like super weirded out but um so yeah I had a grocery haul on there like a huge healthy grocery haul on there and it also had um a day in the life like which I was like filming a lot talking a lot and it just completely corrupted that on me and I'm so sad you guys like I can't believe that happened and so it kind of like discouraged me so for a couple days I just was like well like a week I was like I'm not gonna film maybe this is just like God's way of saying like stop YouTube and I was like you know what no that's not what God's saying what God's saying is here's an obstacle and here's an obstacle and let's surpass that let's figure out a way of getting past that right so Cameron sorry this is so crooked Cameron ended up finding this SD card which is like only 10 gigs so it's like super super small but at least for now I'll be able to start filming I'll just have to upload I have to go get another um like card SD card I'm so sad because that one I mean thankfully I like upload all my raw content and I have it on flash drive or a hard drive but guys I was so sad I lost all of it I had I was pretty much like at the end of that video too and I completely lost all of it and I was like are you kidding me like I can't believe that just happened so um yeah that happened so we're starting fresh today is Monday uh Tuesday sorry but today is Tuesday um we are going to be I'm getting ready right now I just got off the phone with the doctors had to schedule an appointment for the boys um they have their three or five year checkups so i had to schedule that um i'm a little late because asher is already three um and then i have to schedule an ob appointment for myself um you know new year we got to make sure everything's on track i just had a dentist appointment last friday um my teeth are looking sparkly and good if you guys know if you guys are have been around long enough you know the whole ordeal that i had like two years ago with my teeth even last year i had another surgery or not surgery like procedure done with my teeth but you guys know i've been through the ringer so right now my teeth are great but yeah we are just prior prioritizing our health making sure we're all healthy so i just made all those appointments this morning the boys are getting ready right now we're gonna go um they're going land's going to school i actually need to fix it up too i need to call again because i'm trying to pre-register asher to the same school atlanta goes to because he's three now and he'll be three turning four and so i'm pretty sure he can go to that school and i would like for him to go there he's excited i'm excited um to have like the kids in atlanta will actually go to kindergarten next year um and i need to figure that out too because i'm pretty sure i just saw something about pre-registration for school i have my mirror in front of me and guys i am blind if you guys don't know i finally got glasses like mm, almost a year ago and it's like been the most life-changing thing ever i cannot believe i've been that blind for this long you know um but just one of those things where it's like now that i finally have glasses i'm like whoa i can actually see things this is how people see who have 2020 like i always thought my vision was pretty good and i didn't realize like how bad my vision got it definitely was plummeting, 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 plummeting. Oh, I cannot speak English and it's my only language. Um, after my last pregnancy with Asher. So I noticed that. Um, but we are going to get ready. <clears throat> I'm actually planning on making some chocolate sourdough bread today. I'm so excited. I actually made two loaves of sandwich sourdough bread yesterday brought one to my mom of course we are getting ready i just threw on some sunscreen and some primer and i <clears throat> don't even think i'm gonna really put on foundation today i think i'm just gonna do some concealer i need to make an ulta haul um ulta order that's what i meant to say um i got some stuff for my birthday and honestly i think the last time i ordered from ulta was my birthday last year so 
I need to order some things. I'm running low on quite a few things. Um, concealer being one of them. I usually just grab my concealer. I really like the L'Oreal Infallible, and then I really like the e.l.f. But I'm running low on both of them. Where is my e.l.f.? These ones are one of my favorites. The L'Oreal Infallible. And I really like the e.l.f. Highlighting Camo Concealer. I really like both of these. So, um... My skin's actually like doing pretty okay right now too, so kudos to her. She is doing well. I really need to wash my makeup brushes, you guys. I have to bring Lynn to school, make my sourdough, go into the gym later with Cameron. I need to pay my speeding ticket, you guys. I got my first speeding ticket. I've had my license for what? I'm 28, so 12 years, and my first speeding ticket. And I didn't even get pulled over and got the speeding ticket. It was one of those freaking vans that park on the side of the road. And I was like, at first I was going to fight it. I was like, no, I didn't do it. Like, we're all going the same speed. Yeah, we're all going the same speed, but it's clear as day. It was me driving. So I thought, like, maybe, just maybe it was Cameron driving. No, nope, it was definitely me because they post a video of it. Like, they snap a picture of your face, <sighs> your car, your license plate, and then they capture the video. And yes, I was going the same speed as everyone else, but I still was going... 11 over so they got my ass and now I have to pay $100 speeding ticket. Cameron's like go fight it like go to court and say like like you're good like claim your good driver record or whatever it is and I'm like I can't I'll cry like I have anxiety and to be honest with you if I was to go to the courtroom he's like well that's a good thing like you if you cry like they'll feel pity and I was like no they won't and I don't want to put myself through that because I'm gonna give myself like major anxiety for what like I'm gonna freak out I'm gonna, no, no, I'm good. I'll take the speeding ticket. So, Cameron's like, well, now you're gonna ruin your perfect clean record and our insurance is probably gonna go up. It's like, no, our insurance is gonna go up from all your speeding records. Like, speeding tickets. His driver record is absolute trash. Mine, I was like, whatever. It is what it is. I've learned my lesson. I will not speed on that road again. <laughs> uh, I don't know, and I know those vans are there too. So the fact that it got me and I knew it was there, it was like 8.30 in the morning. So it just got me, you know? I have to learn, I learned my lesson. I have to live with the consequence. I made my bed, now I sleep on it, gotta pay my speeding ticket. And you know, now I know. So I learned my lesson. But yeah, I am going to get ready quick and then we'll see what we end up doing. I'll, I'll pick up the camera. I wanna start vlogging again, you guys. I miss this. I got it, just all of my blushes fell off. Um, I really do miss like talking on camera because it makes me feel like I have friends. Is that sad? That's pretty sad. We're gonna be posting more vlogs. And this is like a fun year. This is gonna be a great year. We're gonna have a lot, we have a lot of camping trips planned and our kids are getting so old and grown. It's crazy, so. They're just a lot I want to capture. I like looking back at vlogs. My kids watch my vlogs. They look back on them a lot of the time. So I just feel like it's like it'll be fun to film. So we're going to film them. We are, even if nobody watches them, like we have a thousand subscribers, over a thousand now, right? And I still get like under a hundred views sometimes. And I'm like, why? But we're going to change that. We're going to get more views because, I don't know. We're manifesting it. We're gonna get more views. I don't even care about the monetization and all that stuff or making money on YouTube. Because let's be real, the YouTube era is kind of dying down a little bit because everyone is filming like days in our lives in like Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff. And it's way easier, way faster to film and edit, right? But I enjoy these. So I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna continue. So we'll have a good year. I'll see you guys. So I just finished. Curling my hair, just do a few curls in it. Um, now I don't have to curl my hair for the next couple days. I may have to like touch up here and there, but just do the wand in it. I have like the curling iron, and I honestly like hate my curling iron because it just doesn't give me the kind of curls I want. And these are like the curls that I want. So just back to my wand, the basic wand. I really want a Dyson air wrap, but like the Dyson wrap thing, but it's so expensive. But yeah. I also cut my hair the other day. I did like the butterfly cut. <sighs> no, I don't think I cut it up hair. 
But I feel like my hair is like super short. My hair is like feeling super long. Aw, thank you, baby. Mommy, I got my dad. You said I'm beautiful. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Yeah, you're so sweet. I'm a werewolf. He's a werewolf? Yeah. Is your werewolf? No, he's he's a mom. Oh. oh. Um, um, I also got a PR box from Pixie. Look how cute. It's the Clarity Collection. Guys, hey, werewolf, come brush your teeth. Um, it has like a cleanser, a tonic, a Clarity, what is this? A Clarity Concentrate, like serum, Clarity Lotion, and a Zero Zit cream. Super cute. They want quesadillas and hot dogs. So Asher wants a hot dog, Lana wants a quesadilla. So we're gonna quickly make those for lunch. It's already 11.15. We usually have to leave here by like 11.50. Um, this is supposed to be my car and Cameron took it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make that at the speed clean because these kids like made my house a mess. So I mean, this is just dishes. But I have to just kind of pick up some stuff. Um, I feel like I have a puzzle. I need to finish this. Um, my house is like, there's just things on the floor and stuff. So we need to clean that up and make some lunch. So let's, oh, and I need to make myself another coffee. So I'm going to put you guys down and enjoy some music and watch me clean. We are at Landon's school, waiting to bring him inside. Um, I know his contour is like hella strong. Um, we're waiting to bring him inside. We were hi, rushing. Say hi. Hi. Um, we were rushing this afternoon because the boys did not want to get dressed. They didn't want to brush their teeth. They didn't want to eat their lunch. They were playing around. They just didn't want to listen. So now we are running really, really late. Well, 
behind. Mommy, and now we're on time, so. That, that line looks like it's flooding. The line? Yep. What line? That line, the wall line. What? Like that, like in the middle. Oh, uh, the blue one? It's not flooded. So, we're just waiting because it is raining, unfortunately. Um, so we're just waiting to go inside. Oh, yeah! No opening windows this time. No, because it's raining. Um, yeah, I just... Oh! Just... You see the bat? Yeah, and look, you have wings too. See your bat wings? Can I do the bat wings? <laughs> Can I do your bat wings? I like it. All right, I think we're gonna go out in like two oh, yeah. minutes. Oh. Probably six. What, what they go in at 12, 15, 12, 10, 12. Ah. Curls my hair for what? For what? I'm soaked right now. Um, I went to go use my umbrella and there's like, I don't know what the kids got on it, but there's like some nasty crud on it. So I couldn't use my umbrella. So I just had to use like my hoodie and my hair is soaked now. Um, and my clothes is wet and this is like it just started like downpouring as soon as like we walked out so that's cool but he went in a little early like so me and ash are decided we are gonna go to the thrift store right ash i go to the thrift store baby yeah we're gonna go to the thrift store um he asked me so i was like sure i can't say no to the thrift store i love the thrift store um, so we're gonna go to a different one because I went to one last week and it was like a dud like they had like nothing really So we're gonna go check out this other one Which I'm surprised because the one that was like a dud last week was usually the one that I go to and find everything But this week it was trash. So we're gonna go to the thrift see what we can find I need to have some lunch because I did not eat breakfast. I had a piece of a quesadilla I'm on a not, I don't want to say diet, but like I'm on a, a pretty strict not meal plan either but like I'm trying to eat under or eat my calories and a certain amount of protein a day, and if I don't eat breakfast, I'm just, I don't know. But I'm just feeling a little like ugh, in the morning. I get in these like moods where I just like don't like eating breakfast, and I'm definitely in a mood where I just don't want breakfast. And I was gonna have a second cup of coffee, and I decided not to because I was like, you need to eat some lunch first before you have coffee. But I had to go bring Landon to school, so when we get home, we're gonna have some lunch and then a coffee during the nap but we're gonna go to the thrift quick for a little bit see what we can find it's 12 20 now we have three hours so we have to pick up landing again so we're gonna go to the thrift and then do naps and then just we're chill oh yeah we're not taking a nap we're just gonna go home after the thrift right yeah, yeah. Do you like those Baggy. it's just a, a, a cd player Keyboard. Keyboard. No, it's a keyboard. It goes to a desktop computer. Don't lift it. It's okay. Just don't let. No, don't lift it. No. Um, I just got Asher to take a nap. He was like not wanting to nap. That's the thrift store. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I put my robe on because it's like a rainy cold. Um day today so yeah for sure what I got quick I found this monopoly monopoly deal and I was actually shocked because we actually played this with my neighbor and my Natalie like mm, a couple weeks ago and we fell in love with it and I actually have this in my Amazon cart right now it's like eight seven ninety nine for it and I got it for one ninety nine and I'm pretty sure it has all the pieces it's brand new and I got it for one ninety nine I'm so excited um I loved this game I thought it was really fun so, I'm excited to play it. I'm actually going to text Natalie and tell her that was brand new. Um, anyways, I got the shirt for Asher. Um, he is now in 3T. And so, um, I, he doesn't really have to switch 3T because I feel like Landon went from 2T to 4T a lot, like really fast. So, a lot of his clothes are, i trying to bright you guys up. Um, like, there's not a lot of 3T clothing for Asher. So, I got this cute shirt I love. Pink. and it's from Target, it's like the Cat and Jack brand. Got it for $1.99 and this is in 3T. And then I got him this shirt, he liked it because it was a pizza on it. And it's actually a 4T, so technically, 
Landon or Asher can wear it, but I think it's gonna be more Asher, but it's just like a gray shirt. It's from actually Old Navy. It says Pizza on Earth. So, got that. Um, I found this shirt for myself. Um, it's H&M and it was $4.99. The boy shirts uh, were $1.99 each. This is H&M $4.99. It's just like a basic white t-shirt. Um, had like a little pocket right here. But that was cute. Can't go wrong. And then I found this. I keep seeing on my TikTok, like people who do like get readies, that they're wearing these. Am I like, am I dirty? I'm dirty, aren't I? Um, is that better? A little bit? No. Um, but I keep seeing people do like the get readies with me on like TikTok. And the, I keep seeing these ones where like the people are wearing these kind of sleeves, like underneath dresses and stuff. So when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get it. Um, it is from, what's the brand? I don't know. Let's see. It was cut out, obviously, because it's see-through. Makes sense. I don't know, but I thought it was really cute. It was only $6.99. Looks like the, oh, well, you can't really see, but it's just, like, black and white, and it has, like, a little bit of a high collar, um, a little puff sleeve, and it's long. I thought it was cute. I don't know. I don't know. Even if you wore, like, just, like, a little black tank underneath it, I think it would be really cute. And then I ended up getting this sports bra. It's brand new from Target, all emotion brand, originally $20. And I got it for $5.99. Um, and it looks like this. It has like the built-in uh, padding in there for the bra. I think it's removable. Is it? It is removable, I think. It is removable. Um, I won't remove them. I like having a little padding there because my boobies. Um, but I thought this was really cute to work out in. It's like a like a cropped tank. Um, so I got that. And that is what I got for 24 bucks. Cause I rounded up. But now I'm going to go real quick. And then I'm actually going to eat some lunch and warming up. I made um burrito bowls for lunch. I mean, all for me and Cameron. Just rice with some ground beef, tomato, onion, um, pinto beans, and then corn. And then I'm just gonna put some, uh, some cheese on it. And then put some taco sauce on it. And then that's it. And it's like really high protein, kind of high in cows, but it's because it's ground beef. I could have made it lower ca uh, calories, but then it would have lower protein if I did ground turkey instead which for me i'm trying to eat high protein right now um i could technically use less calories but i won't um, okay, i'm gonna eat this quick and then we're gonna get started on the um what is the word called oh the chocolate sourdough I'm really excited. My yeast looks really good right now. Um, or my starter looks really good. So I fed it this morning. Okay guys, we're gonna get started. So this is the recipe from Farmhouse on Boone. Um, I think, I, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys, but my friend Natalie, who is the one who got me started on making sourdough and everything, this is the girl that she kind of told me to like follow and everything. So this recipe, I thought I would be able to make it today, but it's actually going to have to sit overnight, so we have to make it tomorrow morning. So I'll just pick this back up tomorrow, um, so you guys can see the rest of the process. I just ate, so I don't have the hiccups. Um, but, so the first thing it says for us to do is um, to weigh everything out. Um, and I know a lot of, like, sourdough recipes as a whole, everything almost always says to weigh it instead of measuring. And I guess, I don't know what it is, but it must be, like, something that's more accurate. With a lot of recipes so made myself a coffee too i ate the lunch first and now i'm drinking the coffee so i'm a good girl but um yeah so in a large bowl we're gonna weigh out dry ingredients except the salt stir together add warm water and sourdough starter combine and allow to rest for 30 minutes this is called an auto auto lice auto lice auto lace auto lice i don't know what does that say 
I don't know, but it allows the water to hydrate the flour. So and then you sprinkle salt on top with your hands. Mix the dough about five minutes until the dough comes together. Cover with a damp towel or a plastic wrap. This prevents any and prevents a less than pleasant crust from developing. If one does develop, you can break it with your hands and try to incorporate it. Not the best, but it's not all at lost cost. That rests for 30 minutes, stretch and folds. So this is the process with this one. And this is kind of why I love sourdough bread, but this is a reason why I don't really like making the traditional loaves, any, like the round breads anymore. And it's because it takes a lot of stretch, fold, sit, stretch, fold, sit, stretch. And it's just like kind of more time consuming. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, a little more relaxed and chill with it, but like I got things to do, okay? I can't just be sitting there rolling dough all day, okay? So <laughs> that's why I like a lot of the other recipes better. But we're gonna do it for this one because it looks delicious. It's chocolate bread with chocolate chips. Like, we gotta have it. So um, a lot of stretching and folding. So a lot of stretching and folding. 30 minutes stretch fold, stretch fold. And then it sits overnight. Um, and then we'll be able to make it tomorrow. So, and it says I can put it in a, like a, the bread basket thingies. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. <sighs> like, food's, like, when I weigh my food out, so. Let's get a starter. It looks so good. I'm going to get my flour. So we need 250 grams of unbleached. So 250 grams. <gasps> I did not just do that. I just broke my favorite cup, like my measurement cup. So that's 250. So pretty much two cups is 250. I really, I just don't really like using my metal mix too much. Okay, so 250. So then we need 100 grams of the whole wheat. So if you guys want to follow it, follow it. I don't have whole wheat, so we're just going to do another 100 grams. Okay, that's 100 grams. So, um, and then we need 125 grams of bread flour. So basically, three cups of flour. Um, and then we're gonna do 50 grams of brown sugar. I hope I have another. I have another bag somewhere. I'm sorry, if I'm like a mess, you guys. If you're coming here like as first timers just to watch me make some chocolate sourdough. I am so sorry, please stay around. I promise I'm not. No, I am always just like out of the crazy. sugar um, and then we need some cocoa powder my cocoa powder is right here and we need 50 grams of cocoa powder chocolate but like it's a lot of cocoa powder am i measuring this wrong i don't think so because usually this is how i measure with the food scale i feel like sometimes like when it's a small grab it's kind of hard but that's right we're gonna mix this up and then we're adding water 335 grams of water and then 100 grams of starter Look how beautiful you guys can see inside. You see how like bubbly she is? Yeah, you see how bubbly she is? Like she is 
thriving. Just giving this a little mix. Grams of water. Okay, let's see. 335 grams. Oh, it said 50 grams. It says 100 grams of mature. Guys, why don't you tell me? Okay. okay. Now we're at 50. Can't believe you always let me go with that only. I only got 50. Okay, now we need 335 grams of water. We're gonna do 35 grams, that's it, perfect. I'm trying to 336, but it's okay. And then we're just gonna give this a little mixy mix, you know? It's like chocolate pudding. chocolate chips and start with the stretch and fold. I did that. Every 15 minutes, do the stretch and fold. Okay. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. Okay, this may take a couple hours. Damn, I should have... Wow, this is going to take a long time. We're not even going to make this tomorrow. We're going to probably make this on Thursday. God damn. And then it cooks for one hour. Okay, yeah, this is going to take us Morning, guys. It is the next day, and my dough has definitely doubled in size. Um, I'm going to kind of fold it over into a ball because um, that's what the recipe says. Shape, spin, and pull towards you multiple times until the ball forms. Leave the dough out for 15, 20 minutes. Uncover for skin to develop on the surface of the dough. And then we're going to turn the dough onto a clean surface and shape by folding two sides over into the middle, repeating on the two sides. So, we're getting ready for the gym. I'm not asleep, but I'm going to quickly turn over my dough again. the gym I gotta make the kids some lunch but I'm feeling a little like I don't feel sick but I feel like a little like just congested um and so I'm opening up my garlic and honey and I'm about to eat the garlic hey Lana can you grab me mommy's water bottle I'm gonna eat two cloves you got some carrots yeah I got some carrots and ranch do I make you like a charcuterie board with pepperoni and cheese and carrots no okay, what do you want yeah, okay. Do you want carrots and ranch? Would you want me to make you something else with it? Yeah. You guys are. I'm like a little nervous. Natalie's actually the one who got me into it making it, and I've had it um, in my fridge for like. Here you go, 
like nothing. I'm nervous. It's still really spicy, like garlic. Mommy. Mommy. Like super spicy. But it's not terrible. Okay, let's see, Ash. Oh, you drink some water after. Here. Open your mouth. It's honey. No? <laughs> First of all, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Um, I was going to take a nap after having that garlic. I don't know if it was like, I kind of ate it out of empty stomach. It just made me super, super nauseous. Um, did not sit right with me, um, which is weird because I've had it before and it did not affect me like that. I don't know if it's because I have an empty stomach or what, because all I had was an egg this morning, but it like just made me so nauseous. It made me like, mm-mm. I'm drinking a soda. I don't really, my like goal for this year was to actually stop drinking soda. I don't drink it as much, but I've been craving it lately. And usually when I have headaches, I usually drink it. And because I'm feeling a little nauseous, I was like, oh. So I went to a lay down with the kids, took them down for a nap. And it took them a while to fall asleep. But I was laying there for a little bit longer. I tried falling asleep, but I... <coughs> Like, didn't really... I couldn't fall asleep because, basically, it took them so long. But by the time that I could finally fall asleep, I was like, I'm not tired now. But I'm exhausted. But anyways, as I was laying there and I was reading the recipe one more time, because, you know, I was like, oh, it has to rise again. Guys, it... I'm so stupid. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? I was reading it over again. I was... People who write these blog posts on recipes, they put too much information sometimes, and they write too much. It says on here... So after I turned that over, right, this was at 8, I don't know what time it is right now. It is 2.40. So around like 8.30, 9 o'clock. No, I think it was like 9 o'clock. Oh, what time is it? I took a picture. Um, like 9.55, I posted it. Like I really like folded it and everything. And I was going to do the second rise. And for whatever reason, it said second rise. And then I looked at it and I said second rise and I saw you 12 to 15 hours. No, guys, it says second rise for one hour at room temperature. We're covered with plastic wrap and proof 12 to 15 hours in the refrigerator. So there's not two, like, 12-hour rises. It's only one big rise and then another rise. <sighs> so, anyways, now what we're going to do is we are going to preheat the Dutch oven um, to 925 degrees. 900, oh, sorry. 425 degrees for one hour. After the Dutch oven has preheated, remove dough from the fridge. Dust dough with flour on top, optional. Score design. I just got a backyard, oh, notification. Um, after, I'm reading this fully now. After the Dutch oven has fully preheated, remove dough from the fridge. Dust dough with flour on top, optional. Score design with a razor. Bake 20 minutes with the lid on. Remove the lid and bake for another 30 minutes. Allow to cool completely. I thought I had to bake for an hour, but I'm, I must, I just like half-ass read these. I swear it's my mom brain, but um, we're gonna preheat the oven now because the oven is ready. It literally, okay, so actually, she even has like a baker's timeline. I think next time I do this, I'm gonna just do the timeline because her timeline says 8 a.m. feed the sourdough with flour and water the night before. In the morning, create the dough by combining the water and flour, rest for 30 minutes. But this is what she looks like. So cute. I'm really excited. So, um, let's get her Dutch oven ready. Give it a nice little line. I don't have a razor blade, so we're just gonna use a knife and just hope I go deep enough. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take my Dutch oven out of the oven quick. a lot like now that I take her out like she's kind of flat so I gotta put this back on um let's hope she bakes oh my god I have that thing we're gonna cook her for 30 minutes first and then 20 minutes so Alexa so that's her for 20 minutes 30 minutes all right and then I know I have to meet Cameron um, in like 35 minutes, I guess, to give him something. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> Wait, you wanna try my bread? Or not really, it's chocolate. She's done. She smells really good. You're ruining my video. Oh, she's so hot. I didn't realize she's that hot. So. I hope she doesn't get gummy now. Nyla? Yeah. She's a lot better than Clark. Oh, it's still kind of hot. It's not going to be super, super sweet. Remember that. You like it? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I definitely thought it was going to be a lot sweeter. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely, um, It's not like super, super sweet. It looks like a bubble right here. Um, it's just not super, super sweet. It's not bad. I can't really explain the flavor. Would I make chocolate sourdough again? I don't know. I don't know. It's like good. I'm thinking maybe I just need a better piece. I'm just like eating kind of the crumb. Maybe I need to eat like the middle. Let's see like right here. I don't know how to explain it. If you're not a huge sweet person, you may like it because you do definitely feel like the cocoa. Cacao powder. It's good. It's not bad. The chocolate chips definitely help. Um, but it's not super sweet. I wish it would have had with brown sugar, maybe like some refined white sugar to kind of help sweeten it up a little bit more. My personal opinion, it's really good. Here, let's give you guys a close up. eat it again yeah when I make it again maybe mm. it's okay but I'm gonna end the video here I know I said I should not be chewing um I know I said I was gonna share a Shegan haul with you guys um honestly I just don't want this video to be that long um, so I think I'm going to pick up the vlog tomorrow with a new day, new vlog. Maybe I'll show you the Shein haul then. 
I did get quite a few things. Something like $110. I'll share it in the next video with you guys. And yeah, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I like the hiccups.